Hi guys, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And to those of you who sent me an email, thank you so much. It really made my day. I got one email last night and I read it to, like with my husband, I showed him and um, it was just so incredibly sweet and thoughtful, thank you. And then I got another email today. Um, thank you so much. Those really brightened my day. And yesterday, as you guys know, was such a bad day. It was just, I was in such a dark place. I was so, it was, it was literally like I was doing this all day. I would be like, like up here for about 15 minutes and feel like, okay, like, okay. And then I just would tank. Like it literally felt like I was on a roller coaster yesterday. Um, today is definitely better. Um, with the ear pressure, congestion, whatever, it does help me knowing that it might be the benzo, it might be the withdrawal, it might be. And so I definitely have hope. And I think that's what you need when you're going through this is hope. Um, last night was really hard to sleep and I kind of like with my mind racing I was like am I getting insomnia oh and then literally like my mind was just racing with like what if it's pause and I I am going back through stuff and you know it was just but I was half asleep so I didn't quite fall asleep but I was kind of half asleep so my mind racing it just, I wasn't, I wasn't completely awake to stop it. It was more like, as you're falling asleep, you might get like a thought and then something might freak you out. And that's kind of like the headspace that I was in was just going around in circles about stuff. And I had some really good days with this withdrawal. Like I had definitely a couple i'm gonna do that um when i went to the family reunion i felt pretty decent and i was just so thankful the fact that this is such a roller coaster it really really sucks um it's just really hard it's really freaking hard let me know what you guys are doing in your story um i just wanted to put out a video since yesterday I was crying and breaking down and uh, you sometimes I'll put a video out there and then like delete it and stuff but I really didn't want to delete that video because it shows what it really is like it really shows what it's really like and I wanted to to show everything and it helped me you know it it helps getting all that advice and just the support and the love and and everything. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me. So, today is definitely a better day. I'm definitely having, you know, a little bit of a... Yesterday was like this. Today is more like this. Um, my daughter has her friend over. My son might have a friend over. So, the days that I get to kind of rest, maybe do stuff around the house, maybe go for a walk, um, just clean up, that kind of stuff. Like my mind is in a better place when I just can like focus on me. But the days where I have like appointments, doctor's appointments or stuff that I have to be like running around for, it really trips me up with this withdrawal because it's just, I feel like if I'm having like a mini panic, I don't want to say it's a full blown panic attack, but it's like, I get that, you know, and, you know, it really sucks if you're out and about and you start feeling like that coming on because I can't just go back to my car with my kids and then just like melt down there. So I try really hard in my brain to, when I'm out and about, to just be like, you're almost done. You just have to go. You just have to go here and then here and then you're good and um 
because I do, I do, I'm, I don't hide a lot from my kids, but when I break down, I do try to go to my room or the bathroom or something because I don't want them to always feel that, you know, feel the, that stress and feel sad and all that. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm, that's what I'm doing today. My just listing stuff and now I'm just kind of babbling, running on, but I really feel like, like there's a, you know, when you go through the acute and then you go kind of like down for a while, then you do, I do, I did really well for like a month. Um, and I think that's just, it's so hard to deal with, to be honest. But like I said before, my physical, I can handle my physical, uh, the tremors, the sweats, the no appetite, the, I can handle that more than feeling depressed and the dark thoughts. Because when I have those dark thoughts, I can't rationalize it's going to be okay. Um, I can't rationalize anything good. Everything is just dark. And when it's like that, um, when I can't rationalize anything good, that's when I be get into a scary place. So, I think that's all I have going today, but I just really wanted to put up a video just to show you guys, like, like, I'm okay. Thank you so much for reaching out. I, I have that rash it looks like acne. It's super weird. I've never had anything like this before. So my dermatologist put me back on um, another antibiotic. So I'm just, I'm just hanging here. I'm not doing anything. I'm not messing with anything. I'm just, I'm just here now. Um, the one thing I'm torn with is I take amino acid black seed oil, B6, um, and B12, and one other one, Bio, Biofin, I think it is. Um, I take those at night, and I'm just wondering if I should keep taking them or if I should stop taking them right now. I'm really torn with letting my body heal and I just I don't know if that's helping or hurting so yeah that's kind of the one thing that I'm trying to figure out um this is a long long road you guys I'm just saying that to prepare you not scare you if you want it bad enough my advice is just taper very very slow you know hang there for a couple weeks I'm not a doctor I'm not a pharmacist this is just my story. I'm definitely not giving advice. Um, but if I were to do it all over again, going very slow is kind of the key. Hanging there, it's okay to hold for a couple months um, just to give your body a break. Hold for a couple months. Sometimes people feel absolutely terrible for like three or four months. I find it to be helpful to just hold at that time and let your body catch up. Because if you keep going down when you're still in withdrawal, I feel like you're just layering it on top of each other. Um, because, you know, after two weeks, you wanna go down and, uh, but if your body's telling you it's still in um, stress mode, um, it's basically telling you like, I can't handle any more, like leave it at that. And then when your body starts to like kind of work its way out, then drop it. Um, I've had people write me and say, I'm about to do another decrease, but I'm really suffering right now. And, and my advice is just not advice. My, what I would do would be if you're already suffering so much, don't be in a hurry to cut again, because you're just going to layer even more on top. It's going to take you longer to get over it. Um, I think 
we all want to be in a hurry. We all want to, it to be over and done and, you know, get rid of it. And, but that's just not the safe way to do it. The safe way to do it is just step by step. You take a step, you stabilize. You take another step, you stabilize. You take another step, you stabilize. So that's what I'm figuring out. Hold on. I'm figuring out you just have to be patient. As hard as it may be. All right, guys. That was just uh, a little bit of like what's going on today. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.